Hi VC, this is Aaron, Mutha Alamere, and today I'm doing another Vinyl Finds update, and um, it's Record Store Day in most places, but where I live, um, no stores participate in it, so I actually had a big find instead of Record Store Day, so I'll call this my Record Store Day. Um, yesterday I had a find, it was pretty good, this one was much, much better, so let's see what I got. First off, I've got two records that I've gotten in the last month or two I forgot to show. I'll show those first. This is a Rainbow, Denver 1979 down to Earth Tour. Really cool cover there. And this is the Grand Bonnet era. Very cool vinyl, double record, sounds really good. I mean, it starts off kind of weird, but it, gets, it ends up sounding really well, really good. And that's a cool record there. So I'm a big Rainbow fan, so that was really cool. And then I picked up this Motorhead recorded live in 1978. Really cool record. And it's, there's the vinyl on that. Now I'll get to the um, the vinyl finds I found today. This is my record store day finds, even though it wasn't real. So this record here is a, one of my favorite bands, of course, who people that watch me know that, but I did, I've never actually owned this record. This is a Deep Purple, Deep Purple, and it's a Unipack. And um, here's the label here. So this is the only Deep Purple record I've actually never owned, I think, except for some of their uh, 2000 releases. But I was really excited to get that. And then I also was able to find Come Taste the Band. Of course, the album that had Tommy Bolin on it. And um, I've never owned this one either. So my Deep Purple collection is getting there. Almost complete. <laughs> and then I found some... Uh, I've, been, I've been trying to pick up some bands that I... Uh, last year I sold a bunch of. So I was trying to thin my uh, collection out, and I sold a lot of my Rush and Yes, stuff like that, because I don't listen to them a whole lot. But I really appreciate the musicianship, so I like to have them. And um, I, so I got me some rat, um, Yes records. It's a Relayer. And there's the, they always have really cool album covers. And I have owned these before, so I know them. They're good records. And then there's the, you know, the inner sleeve. And that's a pretty cool label there. And so there's Relayer. I, I believe I got three Yes records, which uh, that brings me up to about six or seven now. None of the really early ones, though. And then Close to the Edge. Of course, most people think this is their best one. That's a killer inner gateful. I remember loving, loving that, looking at it a lot. Pretty cool. And it's got the uh, inner sleeve. And there's a label on that one. Okay. So, between these uh, collections, and I'm still working on listening to all my metal collection from when I got that, I got a ton to listen to and a whole bunch of work um, cleaning all these records. And also, Tales from a Topographic Oceans, double record. Yeah, like I said, all their covers are really cool. And I believe Chris Profi said he liked this one a lot. Custom labels on it. And then um, Pete from Pete's uh, CD Vinyl World was telling me I need to get this one, and I just happened to find it like a day or two after he was telling me about it. This is Drama. So I've never actually heard this one. I'll have to give this a listen. Pretty cool. That's kind of... Uh, Odd that I found it right after he told me to listen to it, so that's pretty cool. And then I got some Elvis Costello. This is um, Armed Forces. And these weren't a dollar a piece, but they were, uh, every one of these records was under $10. Most of them around, you know, the 3 to $5 range, so that was pretty cool. And then um, Taking Liberties. Another Elvis Costello. I'm starting to get quite a few Elvis Costello records. I think that's about six records of him I have now, too. There's the label. And Get Happy. Elvis Costello and the Attractions. And this might be a double of mine. I'm not positive. I might have just got this one. But if it is, that's good because I'm going to be having a sale pretty soon. So I need to get some good doubles to sell. And then I got some Edgar Winters White Trash, which I didn't have, which is cool. And 
And there's the label on that. And finally, getting me some Johnny Winter. I, I just got six CDs in the estate sale finds, but finally got a couple records. Um, second winner. Never heard this. Looking forward to hearing this one. And it looks like it's a double record. And let's see what the... Uh, and there's the labels. And I also got Saints and Sinners from Johnny Winter. So those were really cool finds. That's a cool, uh, cool inner sleeve there. And it's that regular Columbia label. And this was really cool. I've got a lot of Beatles, but I didn't have this one. So I was really happy when I found this. This is uh, introducing the Beatles, England's number one vocal group. Never actually have owned this album. Great songs on it. I know every one of them. You know, I'd have the uh, the British versions of all their old stuff. That's a good. There's the label there, the VJ. And then I got some David Bowie changes. Didn't have that. Brown tan label. And I got a couple of. Uh, I just got my first record of them uh, of this band in a VCLT from. Uh, Robert Williams, which is really cool. Now I got a couple more. This is Weather Report with Black Market. Got to dig into them. Not a huge jazz guy, but I'm trying to give it a chance. And a lot of people really like this band, so. And I do like Jocko Pistorius. I've got a solo record of him that I like, so. And then here's the label there. And then um, Heavy Weather. So hopefully these are some good records here. That's in a nice polyline sleeve there. And then, uh, oh, there's another David Bowie. This is a Station to Station. Looks like an EP. There's only six songs. It's got the inner sleeve. There's the label. And my uh, friend Brian, Cosmic Brian, will like this. This is a Bluish Occult, The Revolution by Night. I've actually never seen this record. So I, I wasn't even aware of this one. I like Blue Oyster Cult a lot. They're a good band. There's the label there. Let's see if it, it's got a custom inner sleeve, it looks like. And just black on the other side. It's beat up, but it's still there, so that's cool. And then I also got um, Fire of Unknown Origin. Great record. I know this one very, very well. I believe this one has uh, Burning For You on it, which I've always liked that song since I was a kid. And it has the uh, inner sleeve with all the records on it. That's pretty cool. And there's the label. It's that regular Columbia. And Mirrors, which I've never owned this one, actually, I don't think. Custom label. And this one, I know I don't have. This is uh, Secret Treaties. I believe this is our third record. I, I mean, the first two are my favorite ones. There we go. And I saw this on the VC somewhere. I don't know who was showing it. And that's the good thing about the VCs. You see other people showing records. Then when you see them, you pick them up because they're talking about them. And this is a Mandrill. Never heard this. I think it's a funk record. Funk rock hybrid, maybe. Pretty cool inner, inner uh, gatefold there. And uh, there's the label there. It's got a, uh, yeah, not too interesting, but inner sleeve. And um, got some Dr. Hook with Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show. Didn't have this one, so that's cool. I know my wife likes them, so. And there's the deal there. This one here was a cool find. I've actually never seen this. It's almost like a box set, but it's a double record. This is a gift from a flower to a garden. Donovan. I'm a big Donovan fan, so this is cool to find. I've never actually seen this. I'm sure some of you have it. And it's, uh, it opens up. Kind of reminds me of All Things Must Pass, only it's a double record. Opens up, uh, and there's what the inside looks like. Got all the lyrics and cool picture. And it's a double record, like I said. And these are the labels. So I was really happy to find that one. I, I like Donovan. And then um, here's uh, War, Why Can't We Be Friends? Great record. Low Rider, I think, was on this one. 
and that song, of course, Why Can't We Be Friends. And there's the label. Man, I have a lot of cleaning to do. <laughs> and it had this insert. Poster. I don't know how rare that is. Maybe some of you'll know. But I like war, especially Eric Burden declares war, of course, but I like war. And then this one I got, this is Falco, uh, I, I can't even pronounce it, I think it's in German or something, I don't know what language that is, Dutch, German, something. But I like Falco, so I, this is all in, a, none, none of this is in English, so I'll give it a try here. And here's a cool one I've never seen, this is uh, Alive, She Cried, The Doors. Didn't own this, so that's really cool. And there's the uh, inner sleeve. And the label. I thought it might have been a promo, because it's white, but it's, it's just the color of it. And here's a really cool find. This is a little beat up, but for uh, $5. Oh my God, I'm from Pink Floyd. Of course, it's just got the plain white record there. But still, you know, this has got one of my favorite Pink Floyd songs on it, the Several Species, uh, and on and on and on song. I love that song. I, uh, me and my friends we used to listen to that all the time. On the Harvest, pretty cool. And I also found this one, Adam Hart Mother. Great record. And uh, there's the inner gatefold there. And it's also on the Harvest label. So that's cool. I've been finding some uh, good old original copies of Pink Floyd, which is cool. Here's one I didn't have, uh, Songs from the Woods from Jethro Tull. I like Jethro Tull a lot. So uh, I've never heard this one actually, so that's going to be a cool listen. Didn't have this, is Sticks Caught in the Act Live. And now my friend Ken, uh, Ken is going to want this one. He doesn't have them. He's a big Sticks fan, so I'll probably end up giving this to him or trading them or something. Ken Squires, he's got a great collection too. I know he comments on some people's stuff. He's got a order form in there. The sleeves, the custom sleeves, and the records are custom labels. Pretty cool. And then I got some Talking Heads with uh, Remain in Light. That's a cool cover. And there's a label there. And I also got um, Speaking in Tongues. Cool. Kind of rare to find uh, Talking Heads in the wild. This one I'm really looking forward to hearing. This is a Best of Cream, Heavy Cream, which I didn't have. They're one of my favorite bands, so this is really cool to get. Got one of the, uh, got two records in here on the Polydor label those look like brand new wow cool got some uh, blackfoot with tom catton i only had one blackfoot so that's cool to get this like them they're a really good southern band southern rock type here's a pretty good blues record i got albert king live wire blues power another good one i like the blues there's a the label there and this one I never heard, but I noticed it had Glenn Hughes on it, so I grabbed it. This is a trapeze. I like Glenn Hughes. Of course, he was in Deep Purple. Me and my purple, I know. I love Deep Purple. And this is a really nice one here. Robin Trower, Victims of the Fury. I didn't have this. Got about five or six Robin Trower records now. I like him a lot. And this is the one I didn't have. This is uh, the very the best of Eric Burden and the Animals, Volume Two. So this has got you know when I was young, don't bring me down. Hey, Jip, I think that's a Donovan song. That uh, the Rack and Tours did that, I believe too, and that's really killer. Love that. Yeah, good stuff. I love the Animals. Eric Burden's one of my favorite singers, so this is really cool on MGM. Got this is a uh, Stars record. I didn't have Violation. My fourth stars record, I like them. Good hard rock. And here's a really cool one, and I just, uh, <clears throat> this is Down to Earth from Rainbow, Graham Bonnet record. 
I can fix that. Just need a little glue. And there's the vinyl. But this is a, uh, yeah, since you've been gone, it's a big hit from this. Pretty cool. And I also got a 12 inch single of Street of Dreams. And an upgrade copy for me. This is uh, one of my favorite records ever Rainbow Rising. And this is in much better shape than my copy. Mine was very hammered. So really glad to get a, an upgrade copy of this. I got the first Brian Adams record, which I've never owned. That's pretty cool. Some Canadian rocking. And here's a cool one. I've never seen I've never seen this one actually. All night long from Sammy Hagar. Live record. He does bad motor scooter on it. That's cool. There's the vinyl there. And I also got an upgrade copy of his self-titled. Really great in the shrink. But just like brand new. It's a great record too. And I got some some rush. Exit stage left. I needed to get some of them. I, I sold all mine and it's they were the last van that I had picked to sell and I've regretted selling them ever since. So and um signals. The label and all the world's a stage. So I got two live, double live records from them. And there's the inner gate fold. And those are the labels it's on. And here's a cool one. This is uh, Joe Perry, Let the Music Do the Talking. Of course, I love Aerosmith's version of that song. I've never heard Joe Perry's. And Rod Stewart, Gasoline Alley. Didn't have this, and I know it's one of his first, so I grabbed it. And it's a, here we go. Another band I like a lot. Uh, didn't have this one. This is the seventh one from Toto. Really good record. And I've been picking up, uh, <laughs> just a week ago, I didn't have a single record by them. Now I have three. This is the band. And I know... Uh, Couple people in the VC love these guys. Glenn Kellaway, Robert on my turntable. Cool label there. And this one here, I have no idea what this band is. It's Dirty Tricks Hit and Run. And I bought this because um, when I was in my late teens, early 20s, I had a garage band and we were called Dirty Tricks. We spelled it with a couple X's though. But I, to see a band with that name, that's pretty cool. So I was happy to find this. I have no idea what kind of music it is. It looks like uh, some hard rock, though. So I'll give it a try. That was a blind buy, for sure. And uh, the English beat, I just can't stop. Didn't have any of them, so that's cool. And here's a great record. I've never seen this one, actually. Flowers of Evil from Mountain. Love Mountain. I've got a few Mountain records. Of course, they've made uh, appearances in my uh, last two uh, best of years, so that's cool. And this one I had never owned before. This is Dregs of the Earth from the Dixie Dregs. They're a good band. I like them. Kind of a jazz fusion. And I've never owned any records by this band. All of a sudden, I have two. This is Procol Harum with Broken Barricades. Kind of got a messed up corner there, but... Still, there's the label. That's a cool label. Island. Unipack. And uh, I got this one as well. Uh, Shine On Brightly. Brokel Harem. Of course, someone put some tape up there. It drives me nuts, but I'll try to fix that. And there's the label on that one. Never heard those two Brokel Harems. Of course, I know Wider Shade of Pale and a couple other songs, but I've never heard those. Here's a really cool one. Um, Chris Profi like this one. This is uh, Sun and Still from Iron Butterfly. Never heard this one. It's one of the later records. A lot of people don't like it as well as their early stuff, but I've heard a couple of people say it's their best. So, or one of their best. So that's pretty cool. Another Iron Butterfly I didn't have. And some Humble Pie. Great band. And there's 
There's the label. And an old Steve Miller. This is a Sailor, Steve Miller band. Here's the label there. And I actually have no albums by this band. Now I have two of them. This is Cactus. And there's the label there. And Ott and Sweaty from Cactus. So now I have two Cactus records. I've never owned any Cactus. I saw them at a local record store where they wanted like 20, 30 bucks for them. I was like, I don't, I'll wait until I find them cheaper. And I did. And another band, I just got the uh, my first record of them recently. Here's my second. This is Discipline from King Crimson. Never heard of this one. And there's the label. This one was a blind buy. I have no idea what it is, but I saw the cover and had to have it. This is Grin. It looks like a psych album. I might be wrong, but my instincts told me this is psych. So I wanted to get this. But look, the cover is amazing. A gatefold. Never heard them, but I will be giving this a spin soon. This will be one of my first ones. And there's a the label there. And that didn't look like it should have been the right label there. Make sure it's right. Yep, going crazy from Grin. Okay, and then we got uh, Dillinger CB20. Somebody showed this in the VC and I saw it. That's why I grabbed it. I can't remember who it was, but I remember somebody showing this and talking about it. It's a reggae record, so that's pretty cool. The same with this. This was a, a lot of these are blind buys I bought because of uh, VC members, and this might have been Brian Cosmic Brian that showed this. I can't remember exactly. But this is the flock with dinosaur swamps, and it's a pretty cool gatefold here. You know, might not it might not have been Brian, but I think it was. Yeah. And then there's the under there. That's just my go-to when I uh, when I see records like this is usually Brian. <laughs> he has some killer stuff. And this one here, I've never heard of, never have no idea what it is, but the cover looked interesting, so I bought it. This is Homegrown. Looks pretty cool. I have no idea what kind of music it, it is, but looks like it's Hawaiian somehow. So that's pretty cool. Might be pretty good. And then um, Sally Can't Dance from Lou Reed. I didn't have any Lou Reed. So, you know, finding these records for five bucks or so, it's pretty good. There's the label there, RCA. And then also Transformer. Of course, this has a Walk on the Wild Side, I believe, on it. It is a well-known record. I've never owned it, so that's cool. And uh, down to the last three here, and they're all by the same band. This is Focus with Hamburger Concerto. I only know a couple songs by Focus. I will get to know them now. And then uh, Moving Waves. If anyone out there knows them very well, let me know which of these records is the best by them. So I'll start with that one. And uh, there's the label there, Sire. Seems like a lot of these are on that label. That's a good label, the Sire Records. And then Focus 3, which is uh, a double record. Ooh, that's dirty. I gotta clean this up. Bug of my allergies. <laughs> and it's also on fire. So that was my haul I got today. Um, I wasn't even really expecting to get these. And uh, this guy, he's, he's a local guy and he sells records every once in a while. Usually I find about five, maybe ten records from him because he usually has pretty common stuff. But he told me he'd been uh, going around all summer, you know, all over the state, up north, you know, by Canada, even buying them. And, uh, this is what he, he came back with all these, so I was really lucky to find them all. Um, it's been a crazy couple months. I found the best collections of my life. Um, I had one collection about five years ago that was great, and then that metal collection I got, the best one I ever got. And then the one yesterday, I've got a couple of the state sale ones, and then this. So this has been an amazing summer for me for records. I don't know if I'll ever find uh, collections like this again. Hopefully I will. But All right, everybody, have a good one, and thanks a lot for watching, and keep rocking.